Day by Day, Bible. David, all-time hero, page July 23rd. Food for David's brothers. Jesse said to his son David, See how your brothers are? They are fighting against the Philistines. 1 Samuel 17, 17 through 19. What? Dave, one, 17, 17, 18, and Oh, 19. I thought you said 17, 17 through 17. Through 19. Okay. Mm -hmm. David wasn't the king yet. He was still living with his father and taking care of sheep. One day, his father asked him to take food to his brothers. They were in the army, waiting to fight enemy soldiers. David probably would have liked to stay with the sheep. But he did what his father asked. He left the next morning. If you don't feel like doing, if you don't feel like doing what your mom or dad asked you to do, what should you do then? Well, it depends what it is. That is a very <laughs> good answer. Dear God, Help me to please you by doing what I'm asked, even when I don't want to. Amen. Yeah, it depends on what kind of... Uh, somewhere someone said, if, they are, if your parents are not Christians, then you don't have to obey them. Come on, Max. Your turn to read the next one. Don't take my time, Max. Finish the page. Goliath. I get the Goliath. David, all-time hero. July 24th. I dare you. Goliath said... Today I stand and dare the army of Israel. Send one of your men to fight me. Well, if he's that big, uh, wait. If he's that big, why don't why does the whole army just attack him? There's another it's army also perfect. on oh, his side. Okay. One Samuel seventeen yeah. ten. Oh, I see now. Yeah. Maybe like a little bit. Like Goliath was a giant. He was over nine feet tall. That's about how tall it would be if you stood on your dad's shoulders. Like <laughs> Goliath wanted to fight God's people, the army of Israel. He shouted, I dare you to send one man to fight with me. One, two, three. The men in the army of Israel were afraid. No one dared to fight Goliath. <clears throat> Why were the men of Israel afraid to fight Goliath? September 8th. He was too strong for them. One day. Dear us, God, do sometimes I don't dare Dirty to this, face my troubles because they seem as big as giants. Please show me how to handle them. Amen. Now, you know what Goliath represents? Mm -hmm. What was the question that they had there? What? Oh, why were the men afraid to fight Goliath? Yeah. Okay. What does Goliath represent? What does he represent? Not just... A giant, it, it's a problem. You could have a big problem. And with God, God will find a way for you to get through that situation. Oh. Mm -hmm. Name a big problem. A big one? Mm -hmm. You don't get a job. It's a big problem. <laughs> for me. All right, come and read some more so we can solve that problem. It's easy to solve. That's right, it is. No. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Ahora venía a leer en español, por favor. What? Sir. Are you going to do it or you're not going to do it? No, no, do it. Aunque usted no lo quiera hacer, tiene que hacerlo. Porque tiene que aprender a leer el español. Yo no quiero el español. Pues, ¿lo va a necesitar, Carmen? Es más difícil. No. Come sit down. Sí. Es más difícil. Entre más practice, it's better. Come sit down and read in Spanish. Come on. What is the change number? What's the 
the chapter. Sit down. Read in Spanish. And Fred is going to listen to you. Come on. Sit down and read. What is the chapter? Oh, tell you what, I'll let you pick. You got Romans you haven't done in a while. Why? Wow, I still did it though. Proverbs. He makes me reread every year. Okay. Isaiah. Okay. Careful. Ephesians. Now you're gonna see it. Don't, Just pick. You already know them all. Mire, abra la Biblia en cualquier lugar y lea. En español, cualquiera. Abra. Oh, in Spanish. Yeah, in Spanish. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't well, know what you're saying. It'd be better. Alright, I'll give you a chance. Alright, how about... No. Dejalo que la abra y lea cualquiera. Oh, oh, I hate this book. I don't want to read this page. No, don't say that. You need to read it. No, the page, the look, it doesn't have, it's... Gave, what is it? They gave it to me in a shrink wrap. It doesn't have any, any uh, binder. Oh. What is it about? About food. It's about nutrition. So mm -hmm. far, I've just read the first two paragraphs. <laughs> but boring. So, no, no. I actually, you know, I'm fascinated by like that. So it's kind of good. And the other class I take, I'm fascinated by too. But but math, I need to work. The math's the real thing. You can go and come here, my Khan Academy. In English, I'm pretty good in English. Oh, Khan Academy. Yeah, but I can't practice in the mathematics. Do I show him right now? After I read this stuff? No, okay, read first. And then I do. Show him. Yeah, you should. Salmo. Salmo. Cien. Treinta y siete. Ciento treinta y siete. Así se dice. Ciento treinta y siete. Uno a cinco. Muy bien. Junto a los ríos de Bal Babilonia. 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 Nos setabamos. ¿Dónde? Setabamos. Junto a los ¿Qué? ríos oh. de Babilonia nos sentábamos. Sentábamos. Uh -huh. Y llorábamos. Llorábamos al acordarnos de Sion. Sion. En, en los álamos álamos, álamos que habían, en había la ciudad. en la ciudad. Col colgábamos, colgábamos nuestras, nuestras arpas. Así como usted cuelga la ropa. Oh. Okay. Ahí, Allí, ahí, los que nos tenían cautivos, nos, nos pedían que, que entonáramos canciones. canciones. Nuestros, nuestros, nos, nuestros opresores, opresores, opresores nos pedían estar alegres. Nos decían, cantemos, cantemos un, cantico, un cántico, cántico de Sion. ¿Cómo cantar la, Ent las... Usted mira que es un signo de interrogación aquí sí. y aquí. Sí. Entonces es como cantada la, 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 el párrafo. ¿Cómo cantar las canciones del Señor en una tierra extraña? Así. Uh -huh. ah, ah, Jerusalén, Jerusalén, Jerusalén si llegara yo a olvidarte, que la mano derecha se me seque. Si de ti no se acordara, ni, de, ni te... Pusiera, pusiera por encima por de encima mi propia de alegría, mi propia que la lengua se me bien. pegue al paladar. I read one of Yeah, make sure I don't know that page. So I just pick a random one. Oh, okay. Señor. Bueno, si ustedes no se inscriben hoy, ¿cómo van a ir a jugar mañana soccer? ¿Ya se inscribieron en la computadora? It's... Mami... Más ser, yo no puedo escribir porque es la, no es la buena. Enseñale el Khan Academy a. ¿Ya terminó? No, yo no sé terminar. Ok, termine pues. So, what is it? 137. ¿Y cuándo va a leer el niño? 137. ¿Qué? Señor, acuérdate de los Edo, Edomitas el día que, en que cayó oh, Jerusalén. Arrasenla, arrasenla, gritaban. 
Arrasenla hasta sus cimientos. You crossed out everything. Then it wasn't one that I liked. Pero no, no se mancha la Biblia. Las que no son útiles para mí. No. Ningún libro se mancha. Al contrario. No. He crosses out a lot of things. And writes my and Max here. Oh well. By the rivers of Babylon, we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. 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 There, there on the poplars we hung our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs. Our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, sing us one of those songs of Zion. Zion. How can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a foreign land? If I forget you or Ju Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I do not consider Jerusalem my highest joy. Remember, O oh Lord, what the Edomites did on their day Jerusalem fell. Tear it down, they cried. Tear it down to its foundations. And this is the one you put. Dear, O oh daughter of Babylon, doomed to destruction, happy is he who repairs, repays you for what you have done to us. He who yeah. seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. Yeah, that's the only part you like. Okay, I read a little more than you. Yeah, did you see that part? Yes. Max? Max, yes. he who seizes your infants and dashes them against the rocks. You want that? Do you want that? It's kind of violent, though. People do that. When they don't like you, they grab your children and they smash them against the rocks. Hija de Babilonia, que has de ser destruida. Dichoso el que te haga pagar por todo lo que nos has hecho. Dichoso el que agarre a tus pequeños y los estrelle contra las rocas. I wouldn't want to do that to some my enemy's children, though. What? To grab my enemy's children and smash them against the rocks? I wouldn't want to do that. 